Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we will be developing ladder logic from Boolean expressions. So let's look at the example first. Example 18, y is equal to a naught b plus c d. And then y is equal to a b c plus d e f naught. So we will start with the first one that is y is equal to a naught b plus cd so let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for the example i will open eco structure machine expert i will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply then i will go to configuration tab here is a list of different logic controllers I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Then I will go to Programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and I can also zoom into it like this. Y is equal to A naught V plus C D. So there is AND gate with A naught and b so we will use normally close contact for a naught and there is also and gate with c and d and then there is or gate with a naught b and c d so i will insert one normally close contact and a normally open contact i will assign address to it as i 0, 0.0 i will also add symbol to it as a yes and then i will assign address to this contact as i 0.1 i will add symbol to it as b yes so there is and gate with a naught and b and then we will insert two more normally open contacts in parallel then i will assign address to this contact as i 0.2 and then i 0.3 i will also add symbol to it as c yes and then d yes then i will insert a coil here i will also add address to it as q 0.0, .0 and symbol as y yes so i need to connect these contacts i will click on this option and draw a line like this so here is and gate with a naught and b and there is also and gate with c and d and then there is or gate with a b and c d so for output y to be on either b should be on and a should be off or c and d should be on and then only output y will be on I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming and then full screen mode. So I will turn on B. So the output Y will be on. If I turn on A, the output Y will be off. Or I can also turn on C and D. And then also Y will be on. So for output Y to be on, either A should be off and B should be on. Or both C and D should be on. So we will exit full screen mode. We'll go to commissioning and stop simulator then we'll go to programming tab we will delete this rung and then we will add a new rung so here we will be drawing ladder diagram for the next one that is y is equal to abc plus d 
into a f naught so there is and gate with a b c and then there is or gate with the output of a b c and d and then there is and gate with the output of a b c plus d and e f naught so i will insert normally open contacts for a b c and in parallel d i will also add coil here and then i will connect this normally open contact by drawing a line like this so i will assign addresses to these contacts i can directly add symbols as a then b then c so now we will insert one normally open contact and one normally closed contact for f so i will assign address to it as i 0.4 that is e and assign address to this normally closed contact as i 0.5 that is f then i will assign address to this coil as q 0.0 that is y so we have implemented and gate with a b and c and then we have implemented or gate with a b c and d and again we have implemented and gate with e and f and then again we have implemented and gate with the output of a b c plus d with e f so for output y to be on either a b c and e should be on and f should be off or d and e should be on and f should be off so for output y to be on f should be always off no matter what is the state of these inputs if f is on the output y will be off so we will exit full screen mode we'll compile the program then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator then we will start controller to do so click okay then i will go to programming and full screen mode so if i turn on a b c and e and then output y will be on and if i turn on f the output y will be off or if i turn on d and e and turn off f the output y will be on and then if i turn on f the output y will be false so for output y to be true f should be off always and either a b c and e should be on or d and e should be on and then only y will be on it was all about this example thank you for watching